160 kilometers east of the Chinese coast lies Taiwan, famous for bubble tea, street food, and stinky tofu, which apparently is just pickled tofu and in some way is considered a national dish. Yes, a very odd country indeed. However, what if I told you Taiwan was the most valuable country in the world? Pause. Doesn't that title belong to the United States? Evidently, they have more cash in their briefcase than Taiwan. And yes, you'd be correct. America is technically the most valuable country with a $126 trillion GDP compared to Taiwan's measly $4 trillion GDP. So did Google lie to me? Will I have to reconsider the purpose of this video? Well, let's analyze the initial question at hand. What is the most valuable country in the world? To solve our dilemma, we will have to understand the true meaning of valuable, which about 50 years ago was cash. If you had a great load of cash, you were considered the most valuable. Main reason why bank robberies were committed much more frequently in the 1980s. But following the 80s, the story shifted and money decreased in value, replaced by something many people don't realize we use every single day. This is the semiconductor chip or integrated circuit. Contrary to popular belief, this is not a special potato chip. Now what is a semiconductor chip? It's fundamentally a series of transistors on a silicone board that can vary in number from the thousands to the tens of billions. An individual transistor has two states, either on or off. Now on or off, it's a bit like saying yes or no, there's not a lot you can do with it. But when you have potentially billions of ons and offs, you can actually create a considerable number of codes out of them. Like for instance, on off, on off. Now what the chip does is relay the code we generated, on off, on off, to the assigned components. These components then interpret the code as digital instructions we assign, dictating how to operate and when. The on off system is called binary within the industry. The only difference being the use of ones and zeros as opposed to ons and offs. Note this explanation of binary is intended to be broad to give the overall idea. Simply put, the semiconductor is the artificial brain of any electronic device. It is essential to ensure, for example, a car's engine works in conjunction with the accelerator and the brakes to the brake pedal. For that reason, the semiconductor has become integral to the evolution of modern technology because as tech grows, the need for semiconductors increases exponentially as according to this graph. As you can see, a rapid incline, which is where Taiwan comes in. Incredibly, they manufacture 84% of semiconductors and oddly enough, it all comes from only one company, TSMC. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company Limited is a Taiwanese IT company established in 1987 that has a few rivals like Intel, Nvidia and Samsung. So why haven't they dominated the market in the sheer numbers TSMC has done so? It's not necessarily because their chips are worse. In fact, Intel's chips pack more transistors in than a TSMC chip. In the industry, there are two types of companies, designing companies called fabulous companies and manufacturing companies called foundries. But there is of course a third category TSMC fits into, which have the resources to both manufacture and design their chips. Most companies have to outsource their productions to independent foundries like TSMC because they don't have the factories to do it. This is why TSMC makes so many chips because simply others have insufficient materials. It saves them money from building the new fabrication plants and other necessary things to manufacture the chips and gives TSMC funding. It's a win-win situation. If it hasn't already become apparent, Taiwan is the predominant manufacturer of chips. Companies, militaries, and people therefore rely on Taiwan to fuel their advances in countless applications, regardless of the cost. Our dependence has grown so substantial that losing Taiwan would be a global catastrophe. We've already experienced chip shortages in the past over increasing demand, and the upswing of tech enterprises and COVID-19 certainly didn't help which severely hurt the economy. Upwards of 10 million car units were lost last year, accounting to a whopping $210 billion in lost profits. Some things have been done to ease our reliance on the island nation. America, for example, has started building its own chips and China has begun designing semiconductors. For now, these projects remain small and until one of these materialize, this is why Taiwan is the most valuable country on earth. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.